guys so I got a request to make a 1920s inspired makeup look this look is perfect for a theme party or a Christmas party that's coming up so if you want to see how to create this vintage makeup look please keep on watching let's start off by opening our eyes and then stretching our mouth to the fullest and then we're gonna take a face primer, this is by MAC and I'm applying it all over my face before any makeup especially on the nose area that always gets very oily and then I'm gonna be applying my favorite CC cream by Lumine and I'm applying it with this Miracle Makeup Blender by New Coat and to get the best results of the blender you should use it damp so the makeup blends seamlessly into the skin and you get a flawless base. As you probably noticed this makeup is way darker than my skin tone but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna apply some bronzer later and I usually wear a turtleneck sweater on so you don't really see other than my face. Next I'm applying my absolute favorite lip balm on, the brand is called Carmex. And then I'm using the Lumene under eye brightener under my eyes obviously <laughs> and I'm using a concealer brush for the application. And I'm using the makeup blender again to uh, blend in the product. Next I'm applying the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 on the places on my face that I want to highlight like for example the forehead, the bridge of the nose, the chin area and I usually also use this under my eyes but I was running low on the product so that's why I used the Lumine under eye brightener. And then I'm taking the Lumine translucent powder and um, applying it all over the face. And I'm using a powder puff for the application. And then I'm using the Miracle Blender again to add a double layer of loose powder under the eyes as a highlight. Next I'm applying this bronzer by Rimmel to give some warmth to the face. And next I'm using this micro shadow by Makeup Store in the shade Smog as a contour color. And I'm applying it in the hairline on the forehead and under the cheekbones and the jawline and also on the sides of the nose. And then I'm using this shimmer highlighter by We Care Icon and I'm using the lightest shade on the bridge of the nose and here I'm just dusting off the excess powder under my eyes before applying it, the shimmer highlighter on my cheekbones. And then I'm also applying it on the chin and on the cupid's bow and on my forehead. And next we're moving on to the brows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Top. First I'm filling in the bottom of the brow and the tail. And then I'm just really dragging the product upwards and not adding any new product in the beginning of the brows because they are pretty thick. I want these brows to look pretty thin like they used to in the 20s. And then I'm using a teensy bit of the shade Whiskey from the Urban Decay Smoky Palette on the tail of the brows um, because they are much sparser. I'm also taking a little bit of the Fit Me Concealer and cleaning out the brow line. Next I'm taking this Urban Decay Primer Potion and priming my eyelid before eyeshadow application. And first I'm using the shade Combust from uh, the Smoky palette and using it as a base color. 
And then I'm taking the shade Password and using it as a transition color in the crease. And I'm using this fluffy blending brush by Kix. The 1920s makeup look is known for its sad eyes and fortunately I have pretty downturned eyes myself but I'm just um, enhancing the look by drawing the eyeshadow upwards towards the brows. And next I'm using the shade Smolder and deepening the look even more. First I'm using this smaller eyeshadow brush to apply the color and then I'm taking the blending brush again and buffing out any harsh lines. And on the moving lid and inner corners I'm using this silver shade from the YSL Palette City Drive. Then I also blended a little bit of the shade Armor from the Smoky palette to give the look a little bit more darkness or depth. Next I'm curling my lashes and then I'm applying a thin layer of Maybelline Lash Sensational Black Mascara. And then I'm applying the Eyelure number 118 lashes. Let it dry, let it dry. <laughs> Ochie dochi, here we have the look so far. Let's look a little closer. Yep, smashing. Next I felt like I needed to enhance the roundness of my eyes even more so I added a Makeup Store Snowflake uh, pen eyeliner in the waterline. Here I'm taking this lip liner from Makeup Store as well and it's called Frosted Berry. In the 20s the lips were preferred very round and narrow so I'm doing a similar kind of look, not making it exactly the same as they did back then. But I'm just enhancing the roundness of my lip. Next I'm adding this lipstick from Makeup Store in the shade Explosion on the whole lip. And then I'm using this marble blush called Breccia, uh, which is also by Makeup Store. This wouldn't be a 1920s look without some sequins and feathers, so I'm adding this headband on. I already had some curls that I made the day before, so I just molded them in place. Okay, and this is the finished look. Hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you did. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!